Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create this. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition, let's call it Pencil Logo Animation. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution, at 30 frames per second, you are free to choose your own setting. Now, import this paper texture image into your project, you can download it from the link in the description. Place it onto the timeline. First of all, let's adjust the size. Press S, to open scale. And change the scale value to 50%. Cool. Let's import our logo. You are free to add your text also, the process is the same for both. Place your logo on above the background layer. Now I have to adjust the size of this logo as well. Change the scale value according to your need. So your logo won't look so big. Now right click on it, and select pre-compose. I am calling it logo comp. Also, make sure to select move all attributes into the new composition. And then hit OK. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the Vegas effect. Apply it onto the logo layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the blend mode to transparent and then change the color to light gray color. Now, in most of the case, you won't be able to see your logo, after changing the blend mode, so let's fix this. Open image contours, and here in the channel tab, change intensity to alpha. If your logo is visible now, you can go with it, else try with other channel options. Now, change segments to one and change the length to 0. Then, change the midpoint opacity to 1, and midpoint position to 0.9. And then last, change end opacity to 1. It's time to animate it. Make sure you are in the first frame. And then add a keyframe onto the length. Go to around 4 seconds forward. And change the length value to 1. Perfect. If you play this, you can see our logo is animating. But it doesn't look like pencil stroke. So let's go to the effects and the presets, and search for the turbulent displace. Apply it onto the same logo layer, and let's adjust a few settings. Change displacement to bulge, and then, change the amount to 30. Also, change the size to 2 to get some nice rough edges. Cool. Play this, and now we have this nice looking pencil stroke. Now select the logo layer, and press U, to open keyframes, select both keyframes, right click on it, go to keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Now open graph editor, if your graph doesn't look like this, right click on it, and select edit speed graph. Now select the end keyframe, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the timeline, and here we have this nice looking stroke animation. Cool, this looks good to me. Now import this pencil stroke image, you can download it from the link in the description. Place it onto the top of all layers. Now select the logo layer, and make a duplicate of it. Place it above the pencil stroke layer, go to the effects control tab, and remove all the effects from this layer. Now, I am going to track mat this pencil layer, if you don't see your track mat tab here, press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key is dead by the heavy pollution in India, 
then right click here, go to the columns, and select modes. Now in the pencil stroke layer, change track mat to alpha mat. And then your logo will look like this. Let's adjust the opacity of this pencil stroke layer, so it won't look too dark. Now open scale, and change the scale value also, use the size which doesn't look too harsh. Cool. This looks good to me. Now, import this paint splatter footage into your project. Make sure to download it from the link in the description. And then place it onto the top of all layers. Now select this logo layer, and make a duplicate of it. Let's call it logo reveal. Now select this paint layer, and drag it to the right, so that it will start playing from the 4 seconds. Now change the logo reveal layer track mat to luma mat. And make sure to turn on the visibility of this logo layer. Cool. If you play this, you can see your logo is revealing. But it is not covering up my entire logo. Let's fix this. Select the top layer, and drag it to cover up the entire logo. Perfect. This looks good to me. Now let's animate this pencil stroke layer as well. Go to around 2 seconds, and select the pencil layer. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC burn film. Apply it onto the pencil layer, and let's change the settings. Change the burn amount to 75. And then change the random seed to 20. Now, add a keyframe onto the burn. Then go to the 2 seconds forward, and change the burn value to 0. Here we have this nice looking fade effect. Now select this layer, and press U, to open keyframes, select both keyframes, and easy ease them. This is our animation look like till now, let's adjust the timing according to your need. Ramp preview this, and see if you are happy with it. Cool. This looks good to me, but we need to add some motions to it. So let's do this. Press F4 to get this switches tab here. Now select all layers, and then click on this cube icon to make them 3D. Now press U, to minimize all layers, and then select this paper texture layer, and make a duplicate of it. Now select this bottom layer, and click on this cube icon to remove the 3D properties from it. This layer won't move with our camera, and our background will be covered up. Now create a new camera. I'm going with a 35mm preset. Hit OK and place this camera onto the top. Now go to around 6 seconds, and press P to open position. Click here to add a keyframe on it. Now press R, to open rotation and then add a keyframe on the orientation as well. Now go to the first frame, and press C, to take the camera tool. Now drag your mouse, to get some different camera angles. Now press the U again, and here change the orientation last value to 60 degrees. Now you can see this nice looking camera movement. Let's go to the end keyframe of the camera animation, and then press C several times, to grab the camera pan tool. Let's make the camera position in this ways, so our logo won't look that big. Perfect, now select all keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, select the end keyframes, and change the curve to something like this. Perfect. Switch back to the timeline, and now our animation looks like this. As you can see, we have this hard edge in this paper background. So select this paper texture layer, and make sure you are selecting the 3D layer. Now go to the mask tool, and select ellipse tool. 
double click on it to apply a mask to it. Now, press F, to open feather, and change the feather value to 100 pixels. Ramp preview this. And here our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day.